personal log. Mission Specialist Kate Ward, Sentient Contact Assessment and Response Team. We always wondered if we're alone in the universe. We observed and explored, but found nothing. Until now. Call mission control to Hermes. Status check. All systems nominal. We're working on a solution for our scan power requirement. We'll update soon. Roger that, Hermes. Keep us posted. Kate, we have an issue. Problem with the scan? We've underestimated the power requirements necessary to penetrate the Metahedron's hull. Mike has an idea, but he could use a hand. He's in the lab and I'll give you the details. On my way. Tim was lucky that Robinson interrupted us. I was on the verge of victory. It has been six months since the alien object known as the Metahedron suddenly appeared above Earth's atmosphere. The Hermes mission is Hey, Kate. Do we still have... Those SLD-26 welders in the equipment room? Yeah, I think we have one or two, but why do you... Oh! Oh! You want to modify it to discharge high-voltage electricity. <laughs> and you call me brave. <laughs> oh, boy. I need to craft a rail module at the mobile printing unit. There. It should be strong enough to direct and focus the electrical current. Now to fit all this together. I see Mr. Jefferson is in the lab today. Yeah, I never leave my home planet without him. Only missing a power source. I have to adjust the there. Now just to calibrate the output voltage. That looks like a space blaster. Just a tool, nothing else. It's a vectorized energy rail accelerator, discharging electrical- Vera. Let's call it Vera for short. You sure like to name things. <laughs> Vera it is. Mike, I'm in front of the reactor. What's the best way to power it with extra energy? See the three positronic nodes surrounding the core? A jolt to each one would be sufficient. Yes, keep it up. Case, aim for the positronic nodes. Almost there. We need a little more energy for the reaction. Come on. Let's try a direct shot to the core. Straight to the heart. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous at all. A direct shot to the core might do the trick. It's working. I'm feeding the excess power directly to the scanner. I haven't seen you shoot like this since the college rifle championship. Yeah, I also remember you taking first place from me. And don't you forget it. Good job. 
Dr. Ward, Dr. Yoshida, get to the bridge, please. Time to see what's inside our alien guest. I should return Vera to the equipment room. She served her purpose. Telemetry check. Telemetry check. Here go. How are we doing with that sensor array, Mike? We're ready, Commander. You have the honors, Dr. Ward. Take your place when ready, and start the scan. Excess energy seems to have done the trick. The array is locked on the metahedron and operating at almost 200% of its standard efficiency. Say the word, Commander. In just a moment, Dr. Ward. Team, can I have your attention, please? Since the dawn of humankind, our species has gazed toward the skies and wondered whether we were truly alone. Well, six months ago, we got our answer. And with it, came new questions. What is this object in front of us? Where did it come from? Who sent it? And why? And while the governments, leaders, thinkers, and common people discussed the meaning of this event, we were training. We were preparing. The SCAR team. Now, the whole world is relying on us. We're dreamers and skeptics. We're explorers and pioneers. With hearts and minds. With courage and resolution. With trust and fellowship. With science. We're going to give the world their answers. And in this historic moment at the conjunction of hopes and fears. There's no people I'd rather face the unknown with. Dr. Ward, you have the honors. Let's do this. Yes, Commander. Commander Robinson? Tam? Mike? Anyone? Where are you? What is this place? What's happening? Saya. Donna. Who was that? Where am I? How is this possible? What planet is this? Did the Metahedron bring us here? sort of alien structure.
Where am I? What was that creature? Scar emergency signal detected. A scar emergency signal. It must be someone from the team. Debris, it's it's from the Hermes. A Scarfield backpack. <sighs> Empty, but still useful. This electric cutter can cut through even the toughest materials. I'd better take it with me. <laughs> Log entry. A joint-legged invertebrate life form, similar to Arachnida. Fast movement, small frame, seems to move in groups. the coil. There. Awesome. We did it, Kate. I remember this. Mike and I were finishing our electrical experiment just Vera. It's still intact. entry. This plant doesn't have any chloroplasts, which means it can't conduct photosynthesis. Strange. like I'm moving through entrails. Log entry. I found a strange alien cube. It's emitting neural waves. This means it has the potential to send information directly to the brain. Log entry. Large joint-legged organism. The chemicals in its abdomen can create an explosion when heated to a certain temperature.
another one of these pillars. These cables, they're from the Hermes. Flesh-like webbing. I have to break through it. Log entry. This is a bio vessel for an indigenous creature. The shell seems highly combustible. It contains an organism that is almost fully formed. I better not touch it. This equipment, it, it's from the Hermes, but we were there just an hour ago. Commander Robinson loves this book. The whole place is covered with some kind of orc. Commander Richard Robinson, log entry. Ever since I left the Hermes, I... It's been getting worse. The growth. I have to get it off. Ever since he left the Hermes? But we were just there. He... He sounds... Maybe... Yes. I can print a custom emitter with the MPU, connect it with the thermic module, and attach it all to the welder's frame. This might burn straight through that flesh-like webbing. And I'm taking the MPU.
cannot see the energy points on this gate. Perhaps they're on the other side. Mana Tuva. How far would you go in the search for answers? Entry. I have cataloged all of the medical supplies for our mission. Potent stuff. Boosters, stimulants, bioenhancers. I know our mission will have plenty of unknowns, but it seems like overkill. <laughs> <laughs>
log entry. I have cataloged all of the medical supplies for our mission. Potent stuff. Boosters, stimulants, bioenhancers. I know our mission will have plenty of unknowns, but this seems like overkill. <laughs> Better safe than sorry, I suppose. Incredible. What could the purpose of such a colossal structure be? Energy relocation? Robinson's backpack. He was here. I should look around and try to reconstruct the whole backpack is covered in organic residue. Robinson must have lost balance and grabbed this rock. Seemed like he had trouble walking. Carnivorous worm-like organisms secreting acidic saliva. It would melt my suit and my flesh in moments. Robinson's boot. Apparently he was heading towards the water? He had issues walking, but pushed himself into the worm-infested water. The worms converged on him. They seemed to... Fuse with his body. What happened to you, Richard? 
His signal is on the other side. Somehow he got through the worms. I won't last a moment, but I must find a way across. Log entry. Seems like this part of the structure is the command panel, but I'm not getting any energy readings from it. It must be deactivated. See the energy points on the gate from this side.
my god! of these creatures goes beyond typical territorial behavior. Is something causing such hostility? Log entry. The sack is filled with a highly combustible mixture of gases. If hit with a flaming projectile, the pouch will burst and spray flames over a large area. are at stage three. Specimens are enveloping themselves in mineral material, creating a stone-like outer shell. Their genetic structure is stable. Alpha of the pack is growing exponentially, which is promising. Genetic code fragment harvested. A recording of 
some sort. It sounds like a report from some kind of experiment. These creatures, it, it looks like their secretion is freezing the water. I better stick to the frozen surface if I don't want to be eaten alive. Producing large quantities of that freezing secretion. Huh. The appendages are dripping with the fluid that's freezing the water. There's the brain, and the neural pathway, the deutocerebrum seems to be generating an electrical charge. The cocktail of digestive acids is dissolving local plant life into homogeneous matter. The process seems to be aided by bioelectricity, and this neural pathway is conducting large amounts of bioelectricity. This gland is secreting the cryogenic fluid that's freezing the water. The creature is mixing bioelectricity with whatever it digests to generate an enzyme. And the enzyme is used to create a cryogenic fluid in the cranial gland. So if I take a sample, I might be able to replicate the process. I might be able to use this to craft some kind of cryogenic device with the MPU. It could help me to get through the worms. Let's see if this device works. 